Welcome! Today's video is going to be on the Minibus 2. The strap is removable and adjustable. This is the non-slip grip slider. It's going to make the strap more comfortable and help it stay in place. One of the things I love about lug straps is when you take the strap off and then go to put it back on, you don't have to check if the strap is twisted. You just twist this guy right here instead, and the strap straightens itself out without you having to take it back off the bag. Any size lug wallet is going to fit in the front pocket of the minibus. I'll demonstrate for you which wallets I have and how they fit. This is the Kickflip 3. This is the Tandem Zip. This is the Splits. This is the Tram. This is the Roundabout, which is also a full handbag. It has a built-in wallet, and yes, you can get the zipper closed with the Roundabout inside. And this is the Tango. I will put a link to all of these wallets in the video description below. In the next zip compartment, there is a stretchy cargo pocket that is fleece lined. And there are also two pen holders. You'll also be able to fit the largest of the transport envelopes in this pocket. And in case you're not loving the fact that there's no place for a water bottle in this bag, a small Dasani bottle will fit perfectly in this pocket and you'll be able to get the zipper closed. The cell phone pocket is 7 inches across and 5 inches deep and you are meant to lay your phone horizontally in this pocket. It's also a good pocket for chunky sunglasses. The trolley sleeve has a velcro closure on the back and the handles have an anti-slip grip on the bottom. The minibus has three large zip compartments. The first one is padded. That's where you're going to put your laptop or your tablet. There is a lot of space in the bottom of this bag. It also shares space with the middle pocket. So if you don't have anything large in the middle pocket and you need to put more in this pocket, you're going to be able to. They share the same space on the bottom of the bag. When I first got this bag, I thought there was a lot of extra lining and it felt a little baggy and then I realized they did that on purpose so that I could fit as much as I needed to. I put the ruler in the bottom of the bag there to show you that you have just about 14 inches of space across. The middle compartment is where they intended for you to put the insulated pouch that they include with this bag. And if you're not bulking up the padded compartment too much, you will have room for more than just the insulated pouch in that center pocket. There are no additional organizational features in this compartment. It does have a pull tab zipper to make it easier to open and close. And in the last compartment, you have a clear view pocket. On the bottom of the bag, it's got its own space, so in this pocket, you're not going to be fighting for real estate with the center compartment. The pocket is 9 inches across and 6 inches deep. The side of the bag has quilting, and the bottom of the bag does not have the wipeable bottom, but it does have the four plastic feet. How this bag comes in handy for me personally is I have a toddler and a baby, so I have to bring diapers and wipes out with me. I also homeschool two of my kids, so my teacher workbooks are going to be separate from the baby's needs. I also have a pocket for my own personal belongings, so this is allowing me to compartmentalize my stuff, but also I know where all of it is when I need to access it. Now, if you order a Minibus 1 or a Minibus 2, you're still going to get an insulated pouch with every bag. That's going to wrap up the walkthrough on the minibus. Like always, let me know what you think down below and what you use your minibus for if you have one. Let me know if you plan on getting one after seeing this video. And I'll see you guys next time.